idea this morning to open up and I find this. What are the council playing at? Well, I don't know. I mean, nobody informed me about any road work. Well, we ought to have been warned. The council should have let us know. If it is the council, what are doing it? Lord, who else will be digging up the road? Oh, oh me. Oh. 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 Oh, shut up, you daft article. It hurts. Excuse me, Lars, Janice. Oh. Now, this digging that apparently went on in the dead of night, uh, can you shed any light on that? I have a statement to make. No, you haven't. He doesn't know out about it. He didn't dig up them cobbles. He can speak for himself, Janice. It's a very simple question. So what about the cobbles, Les? I was walking home last night, peacefully minding my own business, when I fell over that pile up there, hurting myself. No signs, no warnings, nothing. And I hold the council responsible for damaging my foot. I shall be consulting legal advice. Oh, yes. About suing the council for compo. Well, they say George Carman's very good. That pile of stones up there is nothing but a menace. Why am I paying my poll tax? Ah, well, that's the first time I've heard you've paid anything. Do you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? You too, you heard that? I'll also be suing. For, for, what's the word I'm looking for? What will I be suing her for? Defamation. That's it, defamation. Just get in the car, will you? Oh! Oh! Right. Damn it! Oh, oh, for heaven's sake. Well, now, I still want to know, what are you going to do about it? Oh, well, of course, Maud, I will phone the highways department. Uh, then after that, it's out of my hands. <laughs> See you. Yeah. I need extra milk, Ruth and a cousin are coming over. Yeah, you've told me about ten times. What time are they coming? Um, I don't know about dinner time, I think. Listen, we'll be wanting to have a good talk. Well, I shan't be stopping you. Well, it'll be women's stuff, you know, about babies and that. You won't be interested, so I was thinking you might as well just get your dinner at Rover's today. Oh, I see. So you're saying I'll be in the way? Well, yeah, because I think you would be. But I'll see you tonight. Hiya. Hiya. So it seems very bright. That's just what I was thinking. Well, I don't know. She's met this girl, you see, Ruth's her name. What I call a real young lady. Very nicely spoken. The sort of friend Zoe could do with, if you ask me. Yeah, but this Ruth, she's bringing her cousin to see Zoe. And this cousin, she's lost a baby as well. Well, there's no harm in that. It'll do her good to talk about it. Yeah, but she's just getting over it and now mine's full of it again. And this roof, I get the feeling that it don't matter. No, go on. But when they were in room talking, I got this feeling that this roof don't like me. And she don't want Zoe like me either. Oh, you're imagining it. Have you had any breakfast? Not yet, no. That's what's doing it. Empty belly. Not like our Judy here. Oh, it's you. Hey, it's a good job Les isn't in. He's gone right off you. Has he? Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Kind of lost my bottle the other night. Digging up these cobblestones and I... And you ran away. Oh, yeah, but first you dropped a cobblestone on Les's foot. I know all about it. He was up half the night ranting on about what he wants to do to you. Oh, I should never have run. It's well out of order. No. You were out of order for being there in the first place. Why'd you let him talk you into that stupid scheme? Yeah, he's clever, your dad, isn't he? No, he's been real nice to me as well. Yeah, well, your bum's the first thing he's going to kick when his foot gets better. He told me to tell you. So, you better not come round here anymore. That means we've got nowhere to... you know... I mean, we can't do it at my place. There's always people mowing about. What are we going to do? Well, even before this happened, I was thinking... Maybe we've got to the end of it anyway. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Jay, it's me. Yeah, just ringing like I said I would. Did you get it? It's, it's good stuff. Well, yeah, mate, I've got a reputation to consider. Yeah, 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 well, I can't come to Leeds, can I? So, um, you'll just have to come over to me. Yeah, I'm still in Weatherfield. All right, mate. See ya. You got the jewel? 
Well, well done, Michael. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Well, I don't know. I must have sure, really. Oh, come on, Michael. Catch your cell phone. That's great news. Well, let's tell Elizabeth she'll be dead, chuffed. I know you don't realise it, but she does think an awful lot about you. Does she? Aye. Well, it's a step up, I know, but I don't know. I'm not so sure that sort of thing matters at all. Of course it matters. It's good news. I tell you, things are moving in the right direction for me as well. I think Elizabeth's coming around to my way of thinking, you know? In fact, I'm sure she is. Well, if it's what you both want, Jim, I'm very pleased for you. Thanks very much, man. Thank you, Lady Uh, Elizabeth, we're over here. Come here. Two red wines, please. All right. Hi, Jim, Michael. Uh, listen, uh, Michael has some news for you, important news. Uh, it's nothing special. Oh, you're too damn modest for your own good. Look, he's got the job, the boy's got the job in Milton Keynes. Right, well, well done. Well, this is what I said. You see, if it was me, I'd be happy as a pig in muck. I don't know, I'm not so sure I want to move out of the area, to be quite honest. Michael, you'll have a ball. Man like yourself, no ties, fancy free Milton Keynes. You'll be meeting friends as soon as you like. A few of them will be women, let me guarantee that to you as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go back to work. I've forgotten something. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Please, I've got... Oh, hi, yo. The only owners. Uh, back, can't keep away, can uh, you? Pining for you, Vera. Haven't even been home yet. He's missed your beer. Yeah, I bet he's had plenty to make up for it, though, eh? Hey, don't you make me blush him out of practice. Right, come on, V, give us a proper pint. Right. All those pina coladas in ice-cold glasses on sun-kissed beaches. Well, you get sick of the sight of them, don't you, babe? I wouldn't know. I saw Sky mostly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Liz. Hey. Thought you'd be coming back. Jim said you'd forgotten something. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to say something. Drank your wine as well as mine. You're welcome. I just couldn't bear it. Jim going on about good old Michael going away. If I hadn't got out, I'd have sobbed my heart out in front of the entire pub, and then Jim might have thought it was a bit odd. I know how you must be feeling. I think I know how Michael's feeling as well. What do you mean? Well, I was watching him when Jim was telling you the news, and he was looking at you, and... Well, he looked like one very unhappy man to me. I was wrong about him, Liz. He feels the same way as you do. Do you think so? Oh, it's no use, Deirdre. There's no future for me and Michael. There never was and there never could be. No, I'll be okay. I'll get over him. I have to stick with Jim. That's best all round. It might be the best thing for Jim. It isn't the best thing for you, though, is it? It'll have to be. I'll have the lasagna, I think, please, girl. Okay, I'll be yes. too. There's no chips. Ah, oh, Toya, Toya. I uh, read your essay last night and uh, read it again this morning. Very good. Oh, thanks. Yes, it's a very interesting analysis of why Heathcliff was, uh, well, like he is. You know, your assistant has a sharp and discriminating mind. Well, I know she makes a very good fried egg sandwich. Discriminating? Isn't that meant to be wrong? Well, only by sloppy thinkers. No, it just means that you're able to use good judgment. <clears throat> On which point I'll sit down and wait for my lasagna. <laughs> Hello, Toya. Look, I haven't changed my mind. What about? You and me. I think we've had it. Yeah, I know. Well, you better have this anyway. And what is it? It's for you. It's kind of like um, a present. And where'd you nick this from? I didn't, all right? I paid my own money for it. It's just, you know, if this is what you want, then it's just to say goodbye. Please keep it, it's for you. Even if you have had enough of me. That's very nice, Dabba. No, it really is. Thanks. Yeah. I'll see you around. That boy gets more like Heathcliff every day. Anybody with you? No. They've got you dead scared, mate. I'm not surprised. Me? Scared? No, mate. Just careful. Uh, have you got stuff? Would have been if I didn't. You got the money? You know me. Come on, let's see it. 
Hey, you didn't tell anybody else this address, did you? Relax, calm down. Whose place is this, anyway? It's my mum's. Well, her fella's not here right now. Hey, come on, let's see it. There you go. Straight, is it? Of course it is. Five star. be paying for taxis. We're entitled to an ambulance. Flaming National Health Service. Oh, get in the house, you. Oh. All that crying and whinging and casualty. I didn't know where to put myself. That was pain and suffering, woman. Hey, I want that putting me pay out of the council. Well, you didn't impress that doctor, telling him you'd had a fall. He said it looked like somebody heavy had fallen on your foot. Call himself a doctor? What does he know? Not much, but I know plenty. Now get in that house. Oh. So you're going to be glad to be home then, Mrs Barnes? Do you know, it still doesn't sound like me, Mrs Barnes. I'll never get used to it. <laughs> hey, hold on. I think I've forgotten something. What? I'll give you three clues. Bride, threshold, carry over. Oh, give over. No, I want the full experience here. You better have the keys. Come here, woman. Oh, oh come me down. No. Mm. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Bye, Tony. All right. I meant to tell you, I told Zoe about you losing the baby. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Zoe went through the same thing. She lost a little girl, so she knows how terrible it was. She knows how you suffered. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I tried to bottle it up, because people, they just can't imagine how bad it is, especially men. I know, even when they try, even when they really want to help. His name was Zach. He was only eight months. And I put him down in his cot, same as always. And I woke up in the night and I knew straight away something was wrong. And I went running into his bedroom. And he was cold. He was gone. I don't know why. Maybe I wasn't a good mother to him. Maybe this was punishment. I know, I felt exactly the same. I felt really awful cos, well, I used to get sick of having to look after Shannon. But I loved her. I really did. I used to get angry at Zach when he woke in the night and I was tired and he wouldn't take his feed. I used to get angry. But you loved him. I know you did. It wasn't anything you did wrong. Uh, just see Jason out. All right. All right. Jason's going, Des. All right, yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, nice to meet you. Right. See you later, mate. Give me the money. Don't be stupid. Give me the stuff back, then. Look, there's a cafe on the corner in Rosamond Street. Go in there and I'll be in in a few minutes. You better be. So, uh, how was Alan then? Oh, it was brilliant, Tony. We had a fantastic time. How has everything been here? Yeah, OK, no problems. Good. So, who was Jason then? Well, I just a mate from Leeds happened to be over this way. Right. At least the house is still standing. Good lad, Tony. Mm -hmm. Oh, executive gear. Power meetings. Keep your sandwiches fresh Hey, and do you mind this private stuff in there? More like something for the weekend, sir. Yo, well, don't go poking round in your stuff, all right? OK. No big deal. I'm really grateful, Zoe. What for? You've made me feel so much better. Oh, well, that's we're talking about it. It does help. I know. No, it's more than that. You've got a gift, I think, for making people feel, well, 
like at peace. You feel that too, Naomi? So I didn't want to say anything before in case it was putting the idea into your head, but, well, the first time I met Zoe, I knew then that she had a gift. A gift? I don't know what you mean. It's the way you were able to lift Naomi's pain from her. But I didn't do anything. No, no, not consciously, no. It's from within, you see. Ruth's right. You've been blessed with a wonderful gift. A positive energy. Oh, you have to use it, Zoe. Not to use a gift like this, well, it would be a sin. It really would. Do it eat? Cheers. <laughs> you take your time. Yeah, well, I couldn't just rush out after you. God, her mum would have thought something was going on. Well, you stick close to mummy. That's my tip for you, because there's people in Leeds who want to give you a good kick. Yeah, I do know that, Jason. That's why I've asked you not to tell anybody else where I am. Come on, we mates, you and me. Yeah, sure. We'll slip us the 800 and I'll be away. About the money, um... Look, it's 800. That's a going price. Don't try and get it clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the price is fine. Look, I'm only a bit of money right now. I, I, I was supposed to get it this morning, but I've been let down, so... I just have to wait for your cash. You what? I want to see the money right now. Well, give us the stuff back. How can I? There's people in the house. Look, you'll get it tomorrow, no danger. J just tell them tomorrow. They're not going to like this, Tony. You're unpopular in certain circles already. Look, I swear you'll get it. Look, on my life. Now then, Les. Oh. <laughs> Don't you, Les, me. <laughs> Look at my foot. Ooh. Oh. Nasty. Hey. Oh. Hey. It weren't my fault. Charlie, you ran out on me. But you were making a hell of a racket. So would you and all of the great big cobblestone was dropped on your foot. But, but I, I had to shift transport, didn't I? You know, in case Bobby's come. Uh, <clears throat> I see they're uh, still out there. What? Them cobblestones we dug up. There's a big heap of them at Endert Street. You know, I'm surprised you didn't get them shifted into your backyard during night. Charlie, I'm crippled here. I can only just shift myself. Yeah, but your Janice is a strong lass, isn't she? I mean, if you'd give her a bit more exercise, you know, you'd have stopped her being so lippy, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, look, how are you fixed for tonight? Hey, eh? I'll get another lorry, we'll load it up and... <sighs> Charlie, <laughs> I'm resting my foot here. Yeah. OK? Mm. Because when it's better, I've got something in mind for it. Oh, eh? What's that, then? I'll give you the clue, shall I? Yeah? If you was to drop your cap outside my front door here, yeah. you'd be well advised to kick it all the way down Rosamond Street before you bent down to pick it up. Look, I know we're back home now, but, um... Well, the honeymoon still goes on. Well, I'm not arguing. So when's Tony going home? I don't know why. Well, he's a nice lad and all that, but, well, you know, three's a crowd. I rest my case. Um, Mum, could I have a word, please? Yeah. And in private? Well, well, look, don't mind me. I'll go down the pub. Tony, you can't talk in front of Des, you know. He's family now. Yeah, well, it's a favour. Look, I didn't want to mention it before because I didn't want to put a damper on the wedding. Why? What's wrong? Um, lost my job in Leeds. I had to give up a flat as well. Well, there's other jobs. Yeah, well, I'm looking round here mainly, and I was wondering if I could stay on a bit longer, you know? Well, of course you can. We love having you. Come here. Mate. Hiya. I've been wondering where you got to. Put out with my friends. With that roof, you mean? You hardly know her. Yes, I do. Just because you've only just met someone, it doesn't mean you can't be really close. That's the way it is with me and Ruth. Hannah, cousin Naomi. She lost a baby, too. Yes, I know what you've said. We walked up to the park, been looking at little kids playing on slides. Looking at little kids? Is that a good idea, stirring up a lot of old memories? My memories are me, Ashley. Ruth said you wouldn't understand. I do. Of course I do. Look, I know you try. I know you mean well. I've been telling Ruth. But all the same, you either know or you don't. And if you don't, you never will. Zoe, you seem all worked up, excited and I that. feel better than 
looking after him for ages. Listen, um, Ruth's going to come for a tea tomorrow and uh, she's bringing Ben with her. Well, who's he? Who are these people? You don't know nought about him. I know all I need to know. They're on my side and they want to get to know me. Where was it you went on your honeymoon again? Ireland. Oh, did you kiss the blonde too? I can't remember. I think I managed to kiss everything else. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, there's yes. Auntie Natalie now. Oh, why, so it is. Hello, Auntie Natalie. Do you want a milk stout, Auntie Natalie? Hey, don't push your luck. Hi, hello. Hi. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as he obviously did. Oh, yeah, it was brilliant. <laughs> Wish we were still there. Oh, never mind, Mrs Barnes. Like I said, the honeymoon goes on. Yeah. Um, listen, about Tony moving out. Mm -hmm. He won't be. Well, not just yet. It looks like it's all over in Leeds, you know, flat job, the lot, so um, he's asked if he can stay on a bit. And you said, of course you can. Well, I am his mum. He's not a little kid anymore. No, but I go on being his mum. Yeah, of course you do, I'm sorry. Well, if he is going to stay, we're going to have to figure out a way to get him to wear earplugs at night. Oh. <laughs> Just a pint of milk, please, Morty. Dropped the last one in the kitchen. Oh, juggling, were you? <laughs> I wish. I was stumbling about, just stumbling. How do you mean? I'll show you. I've been practicing, Lord. Jim, ah. be careful. Hey, watch, watch, watch. That's marvellous. Well, I wouldn't quite go that far yet. But it will be marvellous. It will be. Oh, I am so pleased for you. Oh, gee. What does Liz think about it? She doesn't know yet, so keep stum, all right? I want to give her a big surprise. Yeah, I'm going to see you, Jim. Have a stiff drink. Liz, Liz, I, I was hoping to see you. I need to talk. I'll see you later. No, Deirdre, hang on. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to hear like that, Liz. You know, about me getting the job. I really wanted to tell you myself. I was in the pub waiting for you to turn up, but Jim got there first. Anyway, I'm sorry. Well, congratulations. You got the job. It's what you wanted. You know better than that, Liz. Go. 